And welcome back. This time I am not shooting an unboxing. No, no unboxing today because I already shot that video about a month ago and I deleted a third of the footage. I tried my best to recover it, it's gone. So here we are. No unboxing today. Instead, I'm going to tell you about these tools. These are the Griffin Pocket Tools. They are wildly popular in the EDC community. They are pry tools, multi-tools, pocket danglers. They're a little bit of an all-in-one sort of deal. And uh, I've been carrying them for about a month now. And no unboxing, but these are the Griffin Pocket Tools. Let's do the thing. So here it is, this is the Griffin Pocket Tool. This is the original design. He's come up with several different versions of it since then, but this is the original. And what you get on this is a host of different tools, which some people may find useful in their daily life, others maybe not. While I did not salvage the unboxing, I did save some of the paperwork and I do wanna talk about that really quickly. First up, the same guy who creates the Griffin Pocket Tool is in charge of Georgia Bushcraft. This was happening in just a few weeks in Georgia, there are a lot of details here, georgiabushcraft.com. He wanted me to tell you guys about this. I wish I could go. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. Griffin Pocket Tool, think outside the toolbox. There's a coupon code on the back of here. I'm not sure he wants me to share that. So I'm gonna keep the coupon code covered up, but you can go to griffinpockettool.com and he's also Griffin Pocket Tool on Facebook and Instagram. Highly recommend following him there. He's a cool guy, he's a cool guy. And the other things I saved were these little information cards that come in the packaging. I wanted to save those just because there are some differences in these three tools. So first up on this tool, this is the original. You have a pocket clip. This is just a pocket dangler that goes over your belt loop and it stays there perfectly. You can actually loop it over the edge of your pocket, off, over your belt. You can loop this a bunch of different ways. I've been carrying it on my belt loop, but just know that these are sort of rough edges. They're not chamfered in any way. So it, it could wear out a belt loop. I've worn out belt loops with pocket danglers and belt hangers and stuff before. On the end here is a pry tool. And then on this side here is a bottle opener. So that is one of the best bottle openers I've ever, ever used. Then you have a flathead screwdriver right here as well on the very, very end. There is a scoring tool. And then also you have a four to seven millimeter hex wrench set right there. And this one is a five sixteenths hex wrench. So this is just a downsized version. It's downscaled. You have fewer tools, so 10 plus tools, 12 plus tools. You still have your pocket clip, but it's much, much shorter. I fear that this one will fall off a little easier. So I probably wouldn't use it that way. You still have your pry tool at the end, as well as a flathead screwdriver. You still have your bottle opener. You still have the scoring tool, and you have a quarter inch down to 11 30 seconds of an inch wrenches here, as well as the 5 16 is the same size there at the top. And that's what you get in the Griffin Mini. But when you get to the bigger version, the Griffin Pocket Tool XL, you can probably see I've been uh, carrying this one. It's, it's worn down, it's been beat up a little bit. Uh, I've used it, I've used it, I've abused it, and I've really, really enjoyed having this thing on me every day. People ask, do you really pry things that much? The answer, no, I really don't. I really don't pry things that much, but this is a good tripod tool. This is a fantastic bottle opener and uh, just, hangs my keys from my pockets really, really well. Same thing on this one, you've got that huge pocket clip on this one, much, much bigger. You have a much bigger pry tool here, but also a nail lifter. So this one is cut out right there and you can get around the head of a nail and pry up a nail. You don't have that on either of these smaller ones, which uh, I actually prefer having that because you can also use this as a smaller flathead screwdriver. Whereas if you can't get in there with this, this width here, this one is smaller. Also, it's much wider if you need it to be a little wider. You, this one's a little, just a little more versatile in my book. You have your bottle opener, you have your scoring tool, you have a ruler, which you do not have on the other. So this one is a metric ruler. And on this side, you've got actually standard and on that side, you've got metrics so of centimeters, inches. So inside you actually have quarter inch all the way up to half inch hexes. And this one is also a half inch hex. So you have two half inch hex wrenches. And I think that's pretty much it. You've got this right here, you could technically probably use that as a file. I know I tried. Um, this one's probably a little too rough. It's really markers for your, your centimeters and inches or millimeters, really. One thing I did notice uh, when I was carrying them is that one of these would stick to my flashlight. Not the mini, not the original, but the, the XL is actually magnetic and these two aren't. And uh, I'm not sure why that is. So, this one is definitely stainless steel. I'm not sure what's going on with these. 
Um, I'd have to ask him to be completely sure. But there you go, you can get a good size comparison for how much bigger the XL is than the original and how much bigger the original is than the Mini. But, but what you may not have known is there is another Griffin Pocket tool. So he makes these in a bit, bunch of different versions. You can get them sometimes. He's got a limited run of copper. They've been made in brass. They're made in titanium. They're made in a lot of different versions. But what you may not have known is that there is a Klecker stowaway version of the Griffin Pocket Tool. And I have actually been carrying this on my keys for, God, probably two plus years now. And uh, this has been probably one of my most used EDC tools ever because it's just always there. My keys are always on me, so therefore this tool is always on me. But you also get that split, you get the nail tool in the end, which you don't get with the original Griffin Pocket Tool, which is nice. So you get kind of the best of both worlds with it being a little smaller, um, but it is actually, I would say, closest in size to the Griffin Mini. It is a little bigger than the Griffin Mini, but it is much thinner, much thinner. I'm not sure what this one is made out of either. It is it is a little weaker. I mean, you can bend this one, you cannot bend the others at all. Um, so this one is definitely weaker, but it fits on your key smart. You can fit it on a key bar, but it is a little bit of a squeeze because the key bar is shorter than the key smart. So when you go to close, it actually hits the pivot screw on the opposite side on the key bar, but it fits the key smart rugged just fine. And this has been my ideal setup. So let's stack these up real quick and show you just a little size comparison of them. The XL is much bigger, much heavier, but that is the one I prefer out of all of these. Even the stowaway, it's a big tool, but it's also the most useful. The, the difference in weight and size between these two is not gonna keep me from carrying it. This is not significantly heavier than the smaller version. I mean, it is heavier, but it's not so much so that I would carry the original over the XL. I would get, I say, a lot more use out of the XL than the original Griffin Pocket Tool. But I just wanna compare it really quickly with one of the pry tools that I got recently which one of my complaints is that this thing is smaller than I thought it was going to be. And it's actually closer in size, very close in size to the Griffin Mini. It fits almost perfectly between these two. But this is the Ever Ratchet, so it's got a ratcheting system in there. Um, this one's made of titanium. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot, but again, I wish it were just bigger. So the last thing I want to talk about is price, because that is definitely going to be one thing that differentiates these from one another. And you can actually get all three of these, not the Klecker, but the, the XL, the original, and the Mini. You can actually get those as a set from Griffin Pocket Tool on their website for 70 bucks. But if you wanna buy them individually, you're gonna to have to pay a little bit more for those. So the original, the stainless steel Griffin Pocket Tool is $25, it starts at $25. The Griffin Mini starts at 20, and then the stainless steel Griffin Pocket Tool XL starts at $40. So it is quite a big step up, $25 to $40 for the XL. Again, if you want the stowaway version of the Griffin Pocket Tool from Klecker Knives, you can actually get this one on Amazon for around 12 bucks. But again, it is a little more fragile. It's more flimsy than the others, but I've not broken it and I've enjoyed using it. And uh, I honestly, out of all these, would probably still continue to use that one the most just because you do get that extra leverage having it on the handle of your key bar or key smart and uh, it's just always there. So I have the rest of my keys, my car keys, and a uh, little screwdriver here on a key ring. I'm using this because it has a flashlight and I'm testing it out right now. This goes over a belt. This won't fit on a belt loop. So if I'm going one day and I can't use this, I can just clip this to my keys. Bada bing, bada boom. That is so long though. That is a very long key setup. Um, so typically what I was doing was clipping my car keys directly to the Griffin pocket tool like this right here and dangling that from my belt loop with uh, a little flashlight like the i1R EOS or something. So that's how I've been carrying my keys with the Griffin Pocket Tool. I'm, uh, I'm not ashamed to carry a pry tool this big in my pocket. So there you go, that is the Griffin Pocket Tool in all its forms, except for the different materials. You can get them in copper, titanium, and all different sorts of different materials, and sometimes with different designs lasered into them. Uh, he can actually customize them for you as well. So if you wanna support the show and you want one of these, click a link down below and purchase them from Amazon, or you can purchase directly from Griffin Pocket Tool. That's okay too, especially if you want a custom one or one of the ones that's not available on Amazon. But be sure to follow him. If, if nothing else, follow Griffin Pocket Tool on Instagram. He's awesome, posts a lot of awesome pictures, and he's just a great dude. And don't forget Georgia Bushcraft, that's happening very, very soon, just a couple of weeks away. 
if you're interested in camping and outdoors or anything at all, uh, this will be a lot of fun. I really, really wish I could make it. I hope I can move my schedule around and make it out there, but I, I don't think that's probably gonna happen this year. Anyway, another way you can support the show is by going to patreon.com forward slash bestdamnedc and pledging there. There are lots of different reward tiers and you can follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestdamnedc. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check out the new website, bestmedc.com. It's a really cool community for you guys. I am, that's the new way to submit is there. It's just a really great community. I can feature your EDCs there more so than I can here on the channel. And uh, there's news and deals for EDC gear all the time. So be sure to go check that out. And of course, if you wanna follow me, Taylor Martin on Twitter and Instagram, you can find me at Casper Tech. But until next time, carry on.